In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce a new application by Adobe, which is called SpeedGrade and is available in the Creative Suite CS6. So here, as you can see, the SpeedGrade interface is very complex. There are a lot of things happening at the same time. I'm trying to clarify what's happening here. As you can see on top, we don't have any drop-down menu, but everything is already integrated in the same user interface. And if my selected tab is monitor on the top left here, I can't see anything. That's because I have first to move to desktop just beside. And in desktop view, I will be shown all the items available on my desktop, including videos, of course. So I'm going to double click one of the videos and I will start grading the color of this video using the new speed grade software. I'm going to jump back to monitor view and as you can see the video is clipped and it's not entirely visible. That's because uh, this software is meant for two monitors calibration. On one monitor you will keep the video, on the other monitor you will keep all the editing tools. Now, at this uh, stage, I just want to make a quick introduction on uh, the tools that you have in uh, SpeedGrade. So I'm going to choose uh, Look here, and I'm going to jump to the presets at the bottom. You see the presets are divided by categories. I have Cinematic, Sepia, Bypass, Cinematic 1, 2, and so on. So I'm going to click on uh, each of them. So you see the uh, result being applied to the video real time. And uh, I'm going to move to the next the category, which is called desaturation, that offers the chance to make a different type of uh, desaturated or black and white videos. The third one is called styles. You can get very crazy results, like this one called Dreams 2 or this other one called Dream. And uh, the last category is called temperature, and this one works on uh, cold or duotony or cold mix and so on. Now, I want to reset everything, so I'm going to jump into the Layers panel on the left and click the Reset button. And I'm starting with the customized editing. As you can see, this software has three different types of editors. The Color Wheel mode, the Slider mode, and the Edit Box mode. The interface is designed in such a way that when you are working with the sliders or with the Color Wheels, the interface is uh, not available, you know, those grayed out type of buttons. But if you go closer and you move your mouse on it, it's actually already active. I'm going to jump to the edit box. So in the edit box view, I will be jumping to overall and I will hold down a shift on my keyboard to make more uh, sensitive change. And I will increase the contrast and you see the video react uh, immediately as soon as I let the mouse go. I'm going to also change the pivot, which is the one that uh, uh, leverage what we are changing with the contrast. But you see that the change is really dramatic, so I need to release a shift from uh, the keyboard, otherwise uh, the change will really spoil the video. And I will also change the input saturation, which means that I will remove the overall uh, yellowish that, that was captured when I recorded this video. I'm going to carry on editing the contrast and uh, editing the temperature of the video by decreasing the yellow and also change the magenta overall. I can uh, also edit the final saturation in order to output the video. This is my final result. So just to recap what I've done, I've changed the input saturation, I've then changed the contrast together with the pivot, and then I moved forward towards uh, temperature and magenta, and finally I edited the final saturation, and this is the final result that I've achieved for this video. Just a quick comparison to the original video before editing, this is what I've uh, open and this is what I have achieved through speed grade.